Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we are playing Marvel Champions and it is going to be a solo league special playthrough. Uh, have, I haven't done one of these in a while. They, um, it doesn't really line up sometimes when it comes to the uh, expert rounds for me to be able to record one of these games. Um, in this particular case, um, it is uh, Season 13, Round 4 of the Solo Champions League. I will link to it below. It's a, it's a great lot of fun to, to challenge yourself, uh, mix things up a bit with uh, scenarios and um, modular sets and, and, and occasionally, you know, restricting what hero you can play, what aspect you can play. Sometimes you get some bonus um, add-ons for um, from some of the campaign sets that you normally wouldn't play with outside of the campaign. But in this particular case, um, this is a, a minor modification, but there are some restrictions. So to go over what's happening here, um, that we were restricted uh, on this round to Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Uh, you could choose any aspect that you wanted. Uh, but your scenario or villain is Sandman on Expert. Uh, and uh, instead of its normal... Uh, Sam and City and Chaos and Down to Earth, uh, they've replaced Down to Earth with uh, Sinister Assault. So you have uh, the Sinister Six as an expansion. So it makes it a little tougher and there's going to be a lot of high hit point um, villains to have to get through. So, uh, first of all, to go over our scenario, of course, the same man. On Expert, starting on Stage 2, Scheme of 1, Attack of 3, 18 Health. When revealed, well, we're not doing that because that we've put him into play so it doesn't trigger this. Sandblast, um, a Forced Interrupt. When Sandman attacks you, that attack deals indirect damage. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the Surging Sands ability on City Streets. We'll get to that in a minute. So, the Schemes, one stage... Uh, nine threat, hapless pedestrians. Forced response after an acceleration token is placed on the scheme. Deal three indirect damage to the first player. Starts on two, goes up by one each turn. And city streets is location, environment. Surging sand special, place one sand counter here. Discards uh, cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of sand counters here. As a hero action, exhaust a character you control. Remove sand counters from here equal to that character's attack. Limit once per round per player. So you can even do that with um, with allies. So we've decided to go with uh, an aggression deck just to be able to deal with these high hit point and very dangerous um, villains that come out. So for that, we've got Thor, Hulk, and Wasp as our aggression allies. We have three copies that press the advantage because it works very nicely with Miles Morales' innate stun ability with Venom Blast. Two copies of a hand cannon just to up our uh, damage. Enraged, just for those turns when we need to uh, have our allies hit really, really hard. And one copy of Audacity as a hero response after you spend this card. Deal one damage to the villain. For our basic cards, for our allies, we have Spider-Man, Spider-Suit, Vivian, Ghost Spider, and Mockingbird. So we've got a mix here of, uh, of various allies um, trying to, to work uh, or, or utilize both uh, Miles' nature as a champion and a web warrior. So to that end, we have Gopher Champions for that really big turn where we don't want to take any damage. Web of Life and Destiny, we're a web warrior. It's free. And Avengers Mansion, Helicarrier. And for uh, resource cards, Energy, Strength, Genius, and two copies of Power in All of Us because we have some expensive cards. To go over Miles himself, he has nine hit points, has a four recovery. As a response, when you change to this form, shuffle one Spider-Man card from your discard pile into your deck, which is kind of important to flip back and forth especially when you want to keep having your ability to stun come out. On his hero side, the perfect stat line of two, two, and two. Venom Blast special, deal two damage to an enemy, stun that enemy. 
Spider Camouflage Special gives Spider-Man a tough status card and confuse an enemy. Uh, just to, to give you an idea of what our goal is here, so this is the third game that I've played for this uh, round. First game was a half shattering loss very quickly. Um, a very lucky Sandman schemed out on turn two. I, it was amazing. Um, second game that I, I won. Um, so I thought I'd record the, uh, the third game to see how we do. So the goal here is basically to defeat the uh, villain as quickly as possible, which is why we have this round counter here. Uh, maintain his, uh, as, as high hit point count as possible. Have as little threat on the, any of the schemes or side schemes as possible. Um, and try and eliminate as many of uh, minions that might be out as well. So we have you know, speed, damage, uh, low threat, high hero health, hero, high hero and ally health. Um, and through the mathematical you know, sorcery of the organizer <laughs> of, uh, of the league, you, we end up with a score. And that's tallied over a, a given season. So again, this is the first of the expert rounds. This is round four. So we're going to get shoveled up uh, and we'll be right back with Miles Morales taking on Sandman in the Solo Champions League. Um, oh, of course, as usual, for the deck list, uh, please see the link in the description below, along with the link to the Solo Champions League. I cannot um, recommend it highly enough to those who want a new and different challenge. We'll be right back. All right, we're shoveled up and ready to go. For our opening hand, we have Double Life, Enraged, Press the Advantage, Hand Cannon, and two copies of Web Shot. Okay, so Web Shot is crucial to our success in this scenario. So, we're not gonna need Double Life. We have no allies to play Enraged. Press the Advantage won't be good to, to build off a Web Shot, and I'm tempted to keep Hand Cannon around but I really, it's the web shots that are going to get the work done against Sandman. So we're going to drop those three. Power and all of us, enraged, and web shooter. Okay. So we're going to flip over. Um. Uh, we're going to have to use Power and All of Us for the energy requirement on Web Shot. Or we could just play out the Web Shooter. Well, we're going to use Enrage to play out our Web Shooter. It's our three counters. Um, we're going to use one of those and Power and All of Us. Play a web shot. So we're going to do four damage. Then an additional two from Venom Blast triggering, which is going to stun him, which is vitally important for us. We're going to hang on to both Press the Advantage and Web Shot for subsequent turns, and we are going to attack the City Streets to keep that uh, the threat of that down. All right. One, two, three. Jefferson Davis, Arachnobatics, Swing In, Press the Advantage, and Web Shot. Okay. So, threat's gonna go on. He's stunned. Encounter card, sand form, attach Sandman. Force interrupt when you would deal any amount of damage to Sandman. Discard sand form instead. Resolve the surging sand's ability on city streets. Okay. So we're kind of in a catch 22 here. on the turn two. Um, 
swing in would be good here. That allows us to confuse and tough ourselves. And that would allow us to flip down for a turn. Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. Well, I don't need Jefferson Davis, that's for sure. Let's use our web shooter and Jefferson Davis to play out swing in. So we're moving four threat from scheme. So the three that's here. We're going to get a tough card for ourselves. And we're going to confuse same man. So he hasn't taken any damage yet. Um, we're not going to be able to press the advantage or web shot this turn. I think we still want to hang on to these. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to flip. We're going to get a card back and that card is definitely going to be web shot. It's almost always going to be web shot. Um, yeah, we're just going to hang on to these three. So, one, two, three. So, wow, okay, swing in, press the advantage, hand cannon, and arachnobatics, press the advantage, and web shot. So, Threat's going to go on. He's confused. We can't do anything. Encounter card. Title Sands. When revealed, place X additional threat here where X is equal to the number of sand counters on city streets. Well, there are none. Okay. On to turn three. So, we're going to flip over. We're going to thwart this. Uh, we don't need to swing in, so we're going to spend swing in. And... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to spend the hand cannon here to do our web shot, which is unfortunately going to get absorbed by Sandman for the initial four damage. So one is going to go on here, and then this is going to get discarded. But he will take two damage from Venom Blast and get stunned again. Um, we're going to... Press the advantage to do two more damage. Which draws us a card. Okay, we're going to use Audacity, which is going to do another damage to 
pay for another press the advantage. For two more. Drawing us a card. And it's Thor. Um, do we spend Thor for to do more damage with Arachnobatics? It's going to cause him to flip. And I don't know if we want to do that yet. So stage three, it resolves Surging Sands. His attacks gain overkill. Oh, but interestingly, are no longer indirect. I kind of think that's better. Yeah, you know what? So we're going to use, we still have a tough, so we're going to use Thor to pay for Arachnobatics, which will do enough damage to flip him to stage three. So he is going to go to 19 health. It's going to do this and then discard two. Uh, yeah. So we stunned and we have a tough, so I think we're okay for now. One, two, three, four, five. Power within. Energy, Genius, Vivian, and Genki Lee. Okay. Threat goes on. He's stunned. Encounter card. Electro, retaliate one and villainous. After Electro engages you or activates against you, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard um, energy or uh, or wildcat resource. He's villainous. Scheme of two, attack of one. Okay, so. I don't think so we can do four to Electro stunning him. Using power within. Vivian can thwart on this turn. Hmm. Genki is good when we flip down. Gives us some excellent card draw on the next turn. problem of course he's villainous so if we were to flip down oh one thing I forgot here so it's after he engages us or activates against us discard cards from the top of the deck until you discard an energy or okay so we have to discard that's uh, a wild card <laughs> all right so that's enough from him yeah, so he's a problem. Salmon isn't as much of a problem. <clears throat> okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, 
Electro, I think, is probably the biggest issue for us right now. So, <clears throat> we're going to use Genki to play, f pay for Power Within. Then we're going to thwart. That will trigger Venom Blast. So it's going to do two damage to Electro and stun him. Then we're going to pay two for Vivian. He's elite. We can't blank him. We can't really blank anything. So we're going to have her not attack Sandman, but we're going to have her get one off the city streets. Onslaught is off, so it doesn't do actually do any damage to her. And this is gone because Venom Blast triggered. We're going to hang on to that. One, two, three, four. We need to get our stunning back. Energy, double life, Mockingbird, web shot, go for champions. Okay. So, scheme's going to go on. Same man's going to attack. Uh, we're just going to tough that. So that opened six. Electro's stunned. Uh, encounter card. Uh, villain attacks. Okay. So he's attacking for three. There's not a lot that we can do about that. And it would just overkill Vivian anyway. So I think we'll just leave Vivian up. And we'll just have to suffer the consequences of City Street. So he's attacking for three. We're just going to take three plus, so five. We take five. That's going to go, and then discard two. So on to turn five. Okay, so we know we're going to be able to stun at least one of them here. We could go for champions as well. Let's see. Okay, so we can use Webshot to break up the attack. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to Webshot. So we're going to do four damage to Electro, which takes him out. And then trigger Venom Blast, which says deal two damage to an enemy and stun that enemy. So same man's going to take two. He's going to get stunned again. Um, do we take the risk here and flip down for the turn? And use double, I think this is a good time for double life and to hang on to go for champions for another turn. So, we're going to hit for two. We're going to overpay with the thwarting here, but I think it's probably worth it. Uh, 
Then we're going to double life. Ah, oh, because we, ah, oh, this is interesting. So we can flip ready because we paid for it with Mockingbird. We get a card back and that's going to be, of course, web shot. Oops, back into our deck. We can heal. And because we use double life to switch, we can switch back using our normal ability. And we're going to hang on to go for champions. One, two, three, four. Power and all this Spider Man defense mechanism, web shooter, go for champions. Okay. So, back to Sandman. He's stunned. He can't attack. Panic on the Streets. Treat the printed text box of each location support and each persona support as if it were blank, except for traits. Interesting. Concern we don't actually have any <laughs> right now. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we have a bit of a problem this turn, but I think we can get around it. So we're not going to use, oh yes, that was turn six for him. So we're going to put out web shooter. Um, we're going to use, and again, it's a bit, it's overpaying a bit here, but we're going to use defense mechanism. I have to put the threat on there. Uh, we're going to hang on to Spidey. Now the question is here, do we attack? Or do we thwart? I feel like we thwart. Which is going to trigger defense mechanism. So that gives us a tough, and then it confuses Sandman. Then we're going to flip down. And get another web shot back into our deck. All right. So, one, two, three, four, whoops, five. So Spider-Man, Arachnobatics, Webshot, Webshot, Strength, and Spider. Okay. Be able to do a lot of damage on this turn. So, two schemes going to go on. Or two threat, sorry. He's confused. Encounter card. Uh, let's gain Surge. Encounter card, attach to Sandman. So when you deal any amount of damage to Sandman, discard it. Okay. Makes our life a little more difficult. So we are going to flip over. We are just going to attack to get that off. Puts one on here. Discards three. One, two, 
three. I think we're on eight. I mean, if I miscalculate that, that's fine. That's on me. Um, all right. Web shooter. And spider to pay for web shot. So four damage. Stunning him. Uh, additional two damage, of course. So it's down to nine. Um, we could hit him again here <clears throat> because he is stunned for an additional five. It's down to four. And of course, we're going to hang on to these. One, two, three. Webshot, Strength, Avengers Mansion, Wasp. Press the advantage. <laughs> Luckily, we have the web shooter to be able to use web shot. I mean, it still wouldn't matter. I could just web shot him anyway. Uh, all right. So back. Threat goes on. He's stunned. Encounter card. When revealed, Rhino schemes. Rhino's not here. If Rhino is not in play, search the encounter deck and discard pal for Rhino and put him engaged with us. Is Rhino in here somewhere? Yep. So, Rhino, zero scheme, three attack, steady. Rhino's attack scheme, overkill, and piercing. And has eight for his health. Um, but I don't think it's going to matter. So... Let's see how much damage we can do and get as, rid of as much threat as possible as to what's out there. Because um, we know that web shot, and we could do web shot and press the advantage would just take out Sandman. So, let's thwart. We want to do all this before we actually defeat Sandman. Um, we could just do two damage to Rhino. No, we need uh, we need this for web shot. So, Avengers Mansion, we're gonna do two damage. Because remember, we're trying to win this scenario with as little health remaining on the villain and as minions as possible. Um, yeah, I was hoping to be able to play Wasp as well, but that's not really gonna work out, is it? Oh, no, I think we'll get more out of this by... Let's roll that back a second. So we're going to use Press Evange, not against Rhino, but against Sandman. So Sandman goes down to two from that. Then we're going to use... Yeah, yeah, kind of too bad. I kind of want to get Wasp out, but it's not gonna not gonna happen. Um, to web shot and stun Rhino, and then use the Venom Blast. Oh yeah, I can't stun him. I have to stun him, but it doesn't matter because Sandman is taken out anyway. Okay. So yeah, okay. 
certainly a lot healthier than I thought it would be, but um, yeah, stun locking Sandman is uh, is absolutely crucial. Uh, it's too bad I couldn't get more threat down, but the important thing is actually, for me anyway, to win the scenario. So there we go. Um, so uh, Miles Morales defeats Sandman uh, fairly handily. Um, very potent um, and powerful uh, Spider-Man. I think we got lucky with a lot of the draws as well. Um, but yeah, the, the constant stun loop, I think, is, is very good. If anything, I think the only mistake I may have made is um, not counting my rounds correctly, but I think I, I erred on the side of uh, the villain, <laughs> not myself. So if the scoring's wrong, it just hurts me in the end. Um, let me know down now. Let me know down below if you noticed anything, any misplays there. I don't think there were, but I'm sure people will tell me. Um, and I welcome it. Just makes me a better player in the end. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, as a, a you know, as a note, check out my link to the Solo Champions League. It is a lot of fun. And until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.